So, Hadass, clearly Fox was aware of these allegations. They were involved in some cases in the settlements. They even renewed his contract recently. So why dump him now? Well, clearly it was the public pressure, uh, as you noted. They had been aware of allegations against Bill O'Reilly since at least 2004 when a public case was settled uh, with, either, with both sides saying that there was no wrongdoing. Uh, now we know that was for $9 million. And it really was after the Roger Ailes incident, which came to the forefront uh, because of a, a lawsuit filed by Gretchen Carlson, that journalists started to dig into the rest of Fox News and to see whether there were other similar uh, settlements with other women. And as you noted, the New York Times, uh, published their investigative piece just earlier this month where they just pretty much cataloged those women. Uh, and what happened was, uh, you're right, that Fox News did renew his contract knowing that this investigative piece was actually underway. But clearly they thought that it wouldn't have as much of an impact as it did. What happened though was advertisers started fleeing the network. There was public pressure. There were protests. And also you have to keep in mind uh, one key thing, which is that Fox News' parent company is trying to buy a bigger stake in Sky News and control it over in the UK. And the UK's media regulator has a fit and proper test where if they determine that a company is not fit and proper, which is a broad designation, they could deny the deal. And that is a big part of why Bill O'Reilly was forced out. Let's talk about the role that investigative journalism and journalists have played in bringing this story to light and bringing it to a point where Bill O'Reilly is out of work. Exactly. It, it really, if it wasn't for that New York Times piece, it's unlikely that we would have uh, seen such a result because, as we've noted, Fox News was aware of these settlements, or at least some of them, and people were aware of these allegations against Bill O'Reilly. But it seemed to have really taken a, a big investigative piece by an outlet like the New York Times, uh, which has a big impact on the world at large, and then the public pressure that came out of it. Now, he has responded, as one expects he would. Um, part of his statement yesterday read, it's dis tremendously disheartening that we, as in Fox and O'Reilly, part ways due to completely unfounded claims. But that's the unfortunate reality many of us in the public eye must live with today. So he's clearly holding to this notion that these allegations were untrue, that the settlements were only an effort to keep them from being exploited in the larger public arena. And it also suggests he's not planning to go quietly. No, and Bill O'Reilly is not somebody who plans to go quietly. I'm sure that his separation agreement with Fox News uh, has some confidentiality clause in it, but Bill O'Reilly is not a quiet person. And Roger Ailes, to this day, still denies also all of the allegations against him. Uh, Bill O'Reilly has said that he's only settled these cases to protect his children. Uh, but there is clearly a public perception, and there is enough of these women uh, for both Roger Ailes and Bill O'Reilly that it clearly caused a problem. And also, Beyond just the moral issue of sexual harassment in the workplace, you have to think about the corporate governance aspect of it, where even if there were settlements, even if they were somehow uh, settlements for unfounded claims, as Bill O'Reilly and Roger Ailes have said, why were they not known? It's not clear whether investors were aware of these settlements. Some of them seem to have been done either by Bill O'Reilly himself. There's a lot of questions here about the reporting structure of Fox News. Hadass, thanks for your time. Thank you.